Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video we're going to be getting a couple achievements for the game My Time at Portia. Port Portia? Portia? I don't actually know, people pronounce it a little bit differently. Either way, my I'm going to say My Time at Portia. Now the achievements we're going to be getting is going to be called I am a Builder, Rune Diver, and Relic Explorer. These are all pretty early on achievements and pretty easy to get, but just thought I'd uh, share them with you here real quick. First thing we're going to be doing is I am a Builder, and that you need to register your workshop. When you first get to the town, you'll end up having to go to the Commerce Guild, and when you end up getting there, you have to talk to a guy named Presley. Now once you talk to him, he uh, welcomes you obviously, and then he gives you a little in tutorial quest on building things where you have to build a pickaxe and an actual uh, axe. Now the game does alright in explaining how to, like the tutorials on building things, but overall I felt a little underwhelmed when it was teaching me how to do things. So I'll just kind of share with you right now what you do. Basically you need to run around and pick up a whole bunch of wood and stone, and unfortunately since you can't gather them with any materials or items, you have to just find them on the ground. Well, you kind of find them all over the place, wood is really easy to find, you'll find more than enough of that. The stone was kind of tricky for me at least for a while, it, it kind of took me a full day until I found the uh, the quarry, so to speak, next to the town, so just kind of keep running around until you find stuff. Um, you can pick up whatever you want, you can pick up the herbs, you can pick everything else up. In the end you will need a total of 13 wood and stone in order to build both these things. And in order to do that, once you get back to your workshop, there's a little uh, crafting bench in the back that you can just pretty much make it. Uh, like I said, I found this quarry actually on the second day of me playing, so uh, it might look a little different for you. But in the end, it's going to be when you're walking towards the town from your workshop. If you take a left and follow that road, it's, it's about really not that far into it and there was more than enough stone lying around so and that was the hard one for me to find um, I just pretty much ran up and down the path until I was able to find some so definitely save yourself some time and check out this quarry over here just to get enough stone for you I know it's really simple stuff and maybe you'll get lucky and find enough but I, I found difficulty finding enough stone right off the bat Once you get both the pickaxe and axe built, you go back to Presley and he'll give you another task, which is going to be to build a stone furnace. This one's a tiny bit trickier because what it actually does is you have to actually use the assembly station. When you get to it, you have to find the page it's on, and then you actually have to the left bumper or the uh, left D-pad, which was a little weird for me. Um, so just make sure you don't click the wrong one like I did, and then you have to uh, cancel it out of it. You can cancel out of them, but just pay attention to that. Now, in order to build this, you need ten wood and one stone stool. Now the stone stool you actually need to build from the work uh, station and you need to have ten stone in order to do it. If you just go back to the area and then you build it, you're able to build the stone furnace. Once it's built, you just place it down somewhere and then you go talk to Presley again and you'll be able to get it. Now, like I said, it took me the whole day to get enough for everything, so once I was actually all said and done, Presley was at the bar, so just kind of watch for it, the quest marker to bring him over here, but Regardless, since it was so late in the day, I wasn't able to talk to the mayor that day, so you have to go, um, when you're able to, go talk to the mayor and show him your registration, and he'll say, oh, hey, congratulations. Then you name your workshop, and you're good to go. That's the achievement.
Now this next step is very important. Uh, once you get the little uh, license, just make sure to hold it high above your head and run around like an idiot showing all your friends that you are now a workshop owner. All right, next achievement that we're gonna be going into is gonna be Rune Diver. When you start talking to people, you'll figure out that there's actually going to be some ruins you can explore that are, they say it's underneath the church, which really doesn't give you an exact area as to where to go. But in the end, if you just uh, take a left when you first enter town and go up the hill, there will be a little sign saying, Abandon Ruin, and just follow it to the actual giant gaping cave. Now when you get close, Remington will explain to you, hey, this is what's going on. There is a fee associated with this place. Um, from what I've read online and from what I've seen so far, Definitely recommend having an empty inventory when you go exploring in here because your inventory fills up fast. But that's a video for another time. More importantly, once you jump into the ruins, you'll get the achievement Ruin Diver. Now, a quick explanation as to what to do with this next one. When you hit the left trigger on the Xbox controller, it'll actually do the little explore thing, which will show up a whole bunch of little lights, and you can lock onto them and then dig your way towards it. Now, if you find a purple one, you will actually find an abandoned room, which will have a whole bunch of goodies as well as some monsters. So that's what you need to find in order to get the achievement Relic Explorer. Unfortunately, it's completely randomized. There's no guarantee where it's going to be. Uh, I've reset this thing three times now and found one in every time, so I think there's... I think it's supposed to be in every single one, but you do, you can explore, you can dig your way around everything, so I can't guarantee you'll find it. If you don't, just reset the mine and then go back in and you'll find it, no problem. And that's all there is to it, so hopefully the video was helpful. Like I said, I know these are a little bit easier and uh, done a little bit quicker, but I just wanted to make a quick little video explaining how to get these ones, so that way there's no confusion. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you like other video related content, that's kind of what I do, so consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezer, until next time, keep your story going.